Managing care. Healthcare systems emergency preparedness. Managed care is a healthcare delivery system that focuses on decreasing costs and improving outcomes. Care is planned from initial contact with the patient through conclusion. Goal is to lower costs and have better outcomes. Requires a collaborative effort from the interprofessional team. Required healthcare providers and agencies to work together. Strives to decrease cost and increase patient satisfaction. The concept of healthcare systems related to the methods of healthcare delivery and management. Care coordination will be required to ensure that the needs of disaster victims are met. The leader of the disaster team will work with all present to ensure that the medical emergency response is effective. Know the disaster plans. Incident Command Center. Delegation. Healthcare systems. Communication. Ethics. Legal issues. Managing care. The act of making plans to prevent, respond to, and recover from emergencies. Emergency, sudden, often unforeseen event that threatens health or safety. Disaster, a public emergency necessitating assistance from outside the affected community. Four phases of emergency management. Mitigation, preparedness, emergency response, recovery. Mitigation, activities that reduce the effects of disasters. Example, building codes and zoning, vulnerability analysis, public education, preparedness, activities prior to a disaster. Examples, preparedness plans, emergency exercises, training, warning systems, response, activities during a disaster. Examples, public warning systems, emergency operations, search and rescue, recovery, activities following a disaster examples temporary housing claims processing and grants long-term medical care and counseling mitigation local emergency management agency lema state divisions of emergency management governmental agency with expertise in public safety emergency medical services and management emergency plans triage Prioritizing patients for treatment based on severity of illness or injury and in light of the supplies and resources available. Reverse triage. Most severely injured or ill victims who require the greatest resources are treated last to allow the greatest number of victims to receive medical attention. Site-specific disaster zones. Access to the site of contamination is limited and safety zones are established. Bioterrorism. The deliberate release of viruses, bacteria, or other microbes as weapons. Emergency considerations. Children, do not play in or around floodwaters, drainage ditches, storm drains. Watch out for live wires. Limit amount of media news coverage. Older adults, worsening of chronic diseases due to lack of food, water, and extreme heat cold. Reliance on medication, oxygen, electricity, limited mobility, diminished sensory awareness, inadequate thermoregulation mechanisms, and social economic limitations. During a disaster the nurse must be aware of their employer's response plans. Disaster drills should be conducted at least twice annually, one involving community-wide resources and actual or simulated clients understands that their role varies during disaster, must strive to maximize patient safety, must understand ethics associated with choices they might have to make, be aware of state regulation. Patient tracking is critical. Triage tags. Stay on patient. Securely placed. Include pertinent information used by the command center to track patients, assign beds, and provide information to families.
tag color and label significance expectant deceased black triage tag color victim unlikely to survive given severity of injuries palliative care and pain relief should be provided any patient who does not have respiratory effort after attempting to open the airway any patient who will die before appropriate treatment is available immediate emergent Red triage tag collar, victim can be helped by immediate intervention and transport, requires medical attention, within minutes for survival, up to 60, includes compromises to patient's airway, breathing, circulation, respirations, greater than 30 per minute, perfusion, no radial pulse or a capillary refill time greater than 2 seconds, mental status, unable to follow simple commands, delayed, urgent, Yellow triage tag collar includes serious and potentially life-threatening injuries, but status not expected to deteriorate significantly over several hours. A severely injured patient who needs evaluation and treatment but may not require immediate transport. Any patient who cannot walk, but has respiratory drive, and are within normal limits with RPM equals respirations, pulse and mentation, minor, non-urgent. Green triage tag collar, victim with relatively minor injuries. Patients requiring minor treatment or prophylactic evaluation. Status unlikely to deteriorate over days. May be able to assist in own care. Any ambulatory patient, walking wounded. Primary survey. Airway with cervical, spine stabilization, breathing, circulation, disability neurological, exposed environmental, control evidence. Secondary survey, F full set of VS, G give comfort, H history, allergies, medications, past medical history, last meal, event surrounding injury, I inspect posterior. Biological agents may be delivered or spread in a number of ways. Because of modern travel, spread of infection may occur in areas thousands of miles apart. Healthcare providers need to be aware of potential signs of biological weapon dissemination. Signs and symptoms are similar to those of common disease process. Some agents require transmission-based precautions, but at the very least, Use standard precautions. Isolation practices depend on the infecting agent. Terminal disinfection and disposal of wastes depend on the infecting agent. Pathogen, cause, symptoms, transmission, anthrax, bacillus, anthracis, skin, small sore, blister, skin ulcer with black spot, respiratory, sore throat, fever, muscle aches, cough, chest pain, SOB, G, nausea, bloody diarrhea, skin, direct contact, respiratory, inhalation, GI, undercooked meat or diary from infected animals, botulism, clostridium botulinum, toxin, foodborne, visual effects, neurologic symptoms, slurred speech, dysphagia, Muscles weakness, shoulder, calves, ingestion, plague, leukemia, pestis, pneumonic plague, fever, weakness, rapidly developing na, cough, infected flea bite or exposure to broken skin, aerosol, individual to individual, smallpox, varicella virus, fever, rash, spot on tongue, mouth open sores, spreads down body, raised bumps, bumps filled with thick fluid with depression and middle. Postular rash, face-to-face -face exposure, aerosol, body fluids, clothing, bed linen. Tularemia, Francisella, Tularensis. Sudden fever, chills, diarrhea, joint pain, life-threatening na and systemic infection. Bitten by infected insects, handling infected animal carcasses, eating contaminated water food, inhalation. Incubation 1 to 6 days, skin contact, GI ingestion, inhalation, skin lesions, fever, NMP, abdominal pain, diarrhea, 
respiratory symptoms that mimics influenza. Treatment equals antibiotics within 24 hours. X 60 days. Use standard precautions. Does not spread from person to person. Virus. Incubation 12 days. Extremely contagious. Spread by direct contact, by contact with clothing or linens, or by droplets person to person. Manifestations. High fever, malaise, headache, backache, and exhaustion. After one to two days, a maculopapular rash appears on the face, mouth, pharynx, and forearms. Treatment is supportive care with antibiotics for any additional infection. Point must be isolated. Transmission precautions. Standard, contact, droplet and airborne. Triage outside the hospital. Cover floor and use strict isolation precautions to prevent the tracking of contaminants. Air ducts and vent are sealed. Staff protection. Water resistant gowns. Two pairs of gloves, caps, goggles, masks, and booties. Dosimetry devices. Begins when danger no longer exists and the stand down order has been given. Crisis intervention. Mental health response team employs advanced crisis intervention techniques to help victims, survivors, and their families better handle the powerful emotional reactions associated with crisis and disasters. Goals. Reduce the intensity of an individual's emotion reaction. Assist individuals in recovering from the crisis. Help to prevent serious long-term problems from developing. Post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, a mental health condition that can develop following any traumatic or catastrophic life experience. PTSD symptoms can develop in survivors of a disaster weeks, months, or even years following the catastrophic event. Managed care. What is it? What are the benefits of using it? Phases of emergency management. Nurses role in disaster planning. Start triaging, reverse triage, delegation and prioritization. Primary and secondary survey. Bioterrorism and biological pathogens. Anthrax and smallpox. Clinical manifestations. Transmission precautions. Treatment. Decontamination procedures. Disaster recovery. 